Aha, there you are, my horses. A very good evening to you. Sunday night, nothing gets past me. And of course, here we are live on Facebook Live. Come and join me. This is one of the world's top broadcast platforms. And of course, it's Sunday evening. So uh, we like to pop up and say hi. And uh, hope that you're all dinky do excellent stuff watching Scotty McClure right now. So do feel you can come and join us. There's David Hennessy and Mark Stafford. Excellent. Welcome to you. Craig Hastings, of course. Lovely to have you with us. Carl Carlos Donnelly. Great to have you as well, of course. Mark Gibbons watching and Cliff Cadwallader is watching from Wales. Hello, Cliffy lad. How are you getting on there now? Um, so there we are. All right, Scotty, says everyone. Dinky doo. Paul Harper's joining us. How lovely to have him with you. Nice to see you, says OX Minnipix. And Alex Robertson, good evening. Bobby McLaughlin, good evening. Um, there we are. And uh, I can't see what's going on there. I missed that. Something about his wife, Claire. Hello, Scotty. Is Diane here? Says Diane Marchand. Diane Marchand, welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McLeod's Sunday Night Pop-Up live on Facebook Live. Evening, Scotty, says the wonderful Colin Edmondson. How fantastic. Paul Crookshanks is there. Charles McLaughlin's joined us. Excellent. Hello, Mr. McClue. This is Kevin Byers. Hello, Kevin. Lovely to have you with us. And thank you to Carol Anderson's watching. Welcome, Carol. Lovely to have you with us. Steve Horsbra, of course. Good evening, says Therese McCann, Queen. Thank you, do, Therese McCann, McQueen. Two Max there, Susan Curran. Hi, Mr. McClue, how are you doing? Hey, Scotty. Good evening to you. Super Scotty, says Adam Spigby Hinson. Excellent. Good evening, Scotty McClue. Thank you, do, from Bridge of Allen, says Peter Dale Nevins. Hi, says Barry Andrew Pitt Keithley. Nina Verico. Thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you, do, Scotty, from Paul and Pauline and Big Robert in Falkirk says Paul Crookshanks. Excellent stuff. Sunday night, as I say, nothing gets past me. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. Scotty McClure's pop-up for Sunday evening, live across the internet. All the sharing goes on with you. Jim McGinney, hello, Scotty. Stephen Dodds, hello there, my old China. The wonderful Gordon Roddick's watching. Thank you, Good evening, Scotty, says Barry McCorkendale. Um, hi, hello, and bonjour says Susan Cowan, hello, and um, Callie Spera, I say to all our Greek watchers, hi, Scotty, says Gordon Roddy, dinky do, Gordon, welcome. Are you uh, back on the radio tonight, says Graham, no, not back on tonight, Graham, two weeks. Um, hi, Asa from Falkirk, how are you? Asa Brown, dinky do, welcome, welcome, welcome. Kendra saying hello to you, Callum Ballum, and uh, VJ Dukaran. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClure's Sunday Night Pop-Up, just for you, dinky do, spread the word. Alistair Bajak, excellent to have you with us, wonderful stuff, hope you're all well. Scotty forgot, happy birthday to my mate Andy. Right, let's go, says everybody. Hey, Scotty, you're good. When are you back in nation, says Lisa Taras. Two weeks, Lisa, and we're back. Hi, how are you, says Thakur Sharma. Hello, Thakur. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky do from me, Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster. And, of course, the first lord of the internet. Don't forget that. John Hanlon's watching. John Dinky do. Good to have you back with us. And thank you to every single one of you for bearing with us on Nation Radio. We had to sort out one or two gremlins. And then I took a wee holiday. So there we are. Are you on holiday from radio? I am, Gemma. And uh, no problem there. Hey, my boy, Dinky do. This is John Hanlon. Hello, John. Welcome. And uh, great to have you with us. Um, now, the sharing's all up to you guys. Very, very important. Uh, we usually get to a few thousand watching. So there you are. So get these figures up as much as you possibly can. Share it with all your friends. Share it with all your groups. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McLean's here. Just for you saying dinky do. Hi, says Tony Fish. Hi, Tony. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo, and welcome. Just a quick Sunday night pop up. So spread the word. Hi, Scotty from Tenerife tonight, mate. Uh, Scott McAleese is in Tenerife. And um, Clid, Cliff Cadwadla. Have I got that right? Cad Cadwallada. There we are, the King of Scotland, he says. What's on the menu tonight? Sir, says Rudy Zach. Dinky Doo, Rudy. Lovely to have you with us. Fiona Summers. 
is watching. Always good to have you all with us. Let's see a few thumbs up and some hearts. Let's see a bit of movement with a tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap at the bottom of your screen. Robert Abbott, Crumbie, a warm welcome to you. And uh, there you are. Bobby McLaughlin asks if I wasn't in the, um, oh, it's an old-fashioned term, that, Bobby. I don't think we'll mention that to you. So there we are. Martin Mark is watching. Welcome, Martin. Hope all's well with you. And Dinky Do. Thanks for joining us on Nation Radio, guys. There's a few thumbs up and some hearts. Fabulous. That's the stuff. I'll get that going back to you, Gemma and Marie McRae. Have you been away, Scotty? Yes, we holiday. And also we sorted out one or two gremlins we had with the show. Um, so we're getting that all sorted. Hope you're well, Scotty. I am Robert. Excellent, Nick. Thank you very much for that. Hi, Scotty, from Comrie. Comrie in Perthshire, Peter Burney. Now watch yourself. Is Comrie not an old volcano? So there you go. The weather's stinking, says Bob McLaughlin. The weather's beautiful, Bobby. It's just a wee bit wet. So there you are. Good evening, fella, says Gary Murphy. Hello, Gary. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinkiru. Good evening, Mr. McClure. A big shout out to my wee mammy, Agnes. Uh, please, says Robert Abercrombie. Agnes Dinky Do from Scotty McClure. Alistair King, what do you think about uh, Boris Johnson possibly being our new PM, Scotty? I personally think it'd be a huge mistake, so there you are. But he's apparently the leading candidate. I think what's happening there will happen, guys, to be quite honest with you. Andrew Wishmaster Williams, I mean, Scotty McClure has not stood as PM. So there you are. So you'll not be getting me this time round. Yes, it's our Bob Moore's watching. Hello, Bob. October more like, says Bobby McLaughlin. Have you seen sense with this route and nonsense yet? You're an offer man. No, really. Um, it's very important. right? I cannot stress enough the importance. If anybody's genuinely interested in independence for Scotland, you must back the monarchy 100%. They're great value. They hardly cost us a bean. Very little burden on the taxpayer. Superb for bringing in value. So don't let your tiny wee petty jealousies get in the way of backing the monarchy. Very, very important. Uh, Lily Patterson's watching. Nikki Harvey winning. Dinky Doo. Susan Coward sticking her tongue out. <laughs> Susan, there you are. I'll stick my tongue back at you and see how you get on there, Dinky Doo. Fantastic stuff. Kerry Ward's watching. Uh, Thomas Toot McCune. Hello from Lark Hall. Hello to Larky, Thomas. Uh, Boris for PM. Scary stuff. You need to, Scotty. We need common sense in the commons. Alistair, you know, to be quite honest, the way things have been going, but uh, I'll see if I can do it. Somebody said, can you not be champing at the bit for you to be back on? Glad to see you in good health, says Stephen Dodds. Uh, Mon the phone-ins. Absolutely, Stephen. Never, ever, ever give up on the phone-ins because it was purely a wee technical thing and uh, I wanted to get the very, very best quality for you. And then I had a wee holiday. I thought, well, just have a wee holiday. Uh, politics in this country has had its day, says Bobby McLaughlin. Yeah, you never really want politics to have its day, Bobby, because we don't want dictatorships or anything like that. You can't have democracy. And uh, we're just connecting you back. You're back with us. That's excellent. Agree about the monarchy. Um, we've got Martin here. Agree about the monarchy. Let's end the 1707 financial union and keep the 1603 union of the crowns. Martin, yes, because the monarchy is Scottish. Nothing to do with petty wee jealousy, Scotty. With me, it's more to do with decency and fairness. Really? Decency and fairness is what the monarchy is all about. They take virtually nothing from us and bring everything in. So don't be um, getting a wee chip in your shoulder. Old-fashioned nonsense. Watching from Lorette de Mar in Spain. Now, I would think Lorette de Mar means it's on the sea, John Carroll. Am I correct? Is McClure correct? Big style. So wonderful. What have we got here? There will never be an independent Scotland, says Thomas Took McCune. Why not, Thomas? There's absolutely no reason not to be, provided every independence seeker does not become a tiny, narrow-minded nationalist and um, lose the plot and not have the monarchy. Uh, so there we are. Not a single thing politics doesn't touch. I've never quite understood people who vote yet claim to know nothing about politics. I understand where you're coming from there, Rudy. 
It would be a piece of nonsense. I've been argy bargy that um, the my the the so-called majority for uh, for Brexit is not 0.7 percent. They are so not 0.7 percent are deciding what 99.3 um, percent of us uh, do in terms of Brexit. So there you are. That's hardly democracy, is it? Good evening from Motherwell, Scotty, says Tom Farley. Hello, Tom. Say hello to my girls, Ellie and Lacey, says David McVeigh. Dinky-doo, David. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can we have a share, guys? I want to see the wee number at the top. That's got to go shooting up to the hundreds, so come on. Get sharing. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClure has popped up just for you to say dinky-doo. Every single one of you, share, 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 and we'll get that up to a few thousand. Excellent. So there we are. Zoe says, you taught me. I teach a lot of people, Zoe. Say hello, um, says David McVeigh. D David McVeigh, dinky do. Uh, should the Scottish government use cloud dispersing pellets like they do in other countries? to give us a bit more sunshine. You know, it's very interesting you should raise that, Martin. I remember taking off from Heathrow Airport and looking back at a huge cloud, a sulphur cloud over London. The rest of the sky was blue. And uh, I thought, they should be able to disperse that. So there you are. Say hi to my family and friends in Jedburgh and Kilsyth. You're totally 100% correct about the monarchy. They make far more money for the country than they cost, says Peter Connolly. And uh, fantastic stuff. So there you are. Uh, dinky do. So wait a minute. Sorry, you can't make these comments. So I have to delete that. So there you go. And uh, thanks, says David McVeigh. Dinky do, David. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, we could survive very well away from Britain. Let them throw their toys out the peak and we'll continue. We have no matter what happens. I think that'll be pram and it's come up as peak on your predictive text. Laura Devlin's watching. Dinky do, Laura. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, 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 I say. Sunday night, nothing is past me. Scotty McClure with the old Sunday night pop-up. Just for you, dinky do. Naughty steps, sorry. Absolutely, absolutely, Martin. Alistair King says, yay. Lovely to have you with us, Alistair. And a warm welcome, dinky do. Excellent stuff. Now, I, I tried something earlier. Just, I hope this is all right. The light was turned another way, and it was rather strange. Let's just try this. What does that look like? All right, you'll never believe what's happened to you. The light's turned the other way. So there we go. Right, uh, Zoe, can you desist, please? Very, very important. Excellent stuff. How's the dog, Scotty? Excellent. The dog is very well. Scotty, you back on the radio tonight, Martin? No, not back for another two weeks, Martin. And then we're back for the whole lot. Can anybody tell me what that looks like picture-wise there? Is it any good? Because a very strange thing's happened. We've turned the light away, and it's bouncing off the wall. It's quite interesting. And Ned McMillan's watching. Thank you, Ned. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome from me, Scotty McClure. Jim Schiavone. Schiavone. Is that right? Is it Italian, Jim? A wonderful name. Very good, says Martin. Excellent. A bit dark, says Alistair King. All right. But look at the background, Alistair. And I'm going to do a wee touch of the optician here. Is it better like that? Or is it better like that? So there we are. So you're only getting me and you're not getting the background. But the other one. It's okay, says Peter Connolly. Absolutely, Peter. No problem with that. We can put a bit more light on, but it looks as if I've got a halo. Zoe says, some boy, absolutely. Some boy, Zoe, well done. Thank you for that. Yeah, so there we are. Henry Anderson, it's just sorry we go out right across the world here. So there we are. Um, have all the independence you want, Scotty, as long as we still get Scotty McClure in England, says Fred Walton. Of course, Uncle Fred, we would never, ever, ever neglect you in England. And um, I think there are huge things happening with Nation Radio. It's a very successful company, and uh, we will see what is what in a few months' time. Think you do, Scotty. Ordered your last available CD from Amazon. Best CD ever. Laura, you did. There was one left in Amazon, and you got it. 
I remember you saying there isn't one now because I've just bought it. Wonderful stuff. I hope you're enjoying it. It's brought like that, like this here, Jim. Is that all right? Do you mean right now or did you think before? Do tell us what you think. Scotty McClure popping up just for you to say dinky do every day. Can we have another share now? Spread the word. Share, 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 share. I'm at a secret location here. So I've only got one device um, shared with 100,000 on one page. Good to see you back, says Martin. Thanks, Martin. That is very, very much appreciated. So hopefully some of them will be coming on. It's bra like that, says Jim Schiavone. Is it Schiavone, Jim? I like to get people's names exactly right. Christopher Anthony Smith, welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, better the other way, Scotty, says Jim McGeady. Do you think so, Jim? So if I do this, tell me what you think, guys. Right, very important. That. How is that? Is that any good? Uh, just as well as do a red bulb, the neighbours will be talking. Stephen Dodge, you're quite right. We don't want to be uh, a red light t district. Uh, dinky do. <laughs> uh, dinky do, Mr. McLean. Missing you so much on the radio. You do so much for the people. We're a bit under the weather, says Ian Stewart. <coughs> Pardon me. Keep it up. Excellent stuff. Um, Jim says, I, that's wonderful, Jim. Scotty, I'm going to take Zoe's phone off. Or we're heading down Veronica's stop in the last Americas. Banner from our comments of Dad Scott. Scott Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, and thank you. Uh, I miss drama, says Zoe. There we are. She's about to lose her phone, I think. That's better, says Peter Connie. That's it, lol. So there we are, lots of lol. Do I look better like that? A wee bit in the dark, in the shadows. Fantastic. What happens when I take a wee sip from my tiny glass? Mm. Ooh, that's lush. That's lovely, that. No sign of your wee fox. I haven't seen the wee fox for a while. I hope he's all right, but apparently they only live a couple of years in general. Um, I used to listen to you 96.3 years ago. Good to see you back. We're back on 96.3 now, David McVeigh. So two weeks' time, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, Nation Radio, 96.3 on the FM in Central Scotland. Wonderful stuff. Gordon Drysdale's watching. Excellent stuff. Thank you, dear Gordon. Lovely to have you with us. And Alan Morris has joined us. Dinky do, Alan. Now, can everybody share and share to your groups? Just take a wee bit of time out and share to your groups. Share to your pals. Hello, Lord Scotty, says Alan. Dinky do, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. So there we are. Lovely to be back with you. Somebody tried to tell us that there was another broadcaster broadcasting on a London radio station that they thought was number one and McClure would be number two. Certainly not. Um, we can't see you wearing your gown in the background. What did you get your degree for, says Jim Whelan? It's an arts degree, Jim. I have two of them. Scotty, you're on holiday. Treat yourself to a wee half. You deserve it, says Charles McLachlan or McLaughlin. I think it's McLachlan, isn't it, Charles? I don't know. Do you get called McLaughlin, that spelling? I wondered about the A-U-G-H. Jim Finns, Dinky Doo, and Mary Lindsay. A very warm welcome to Scotty McLeod's Sunday night pop-up just for you, Dinky Doo. Alan McGee's joined us as well. Hello, Alan. I hope you're well. Another wonderful broadcaster there. Great characters we've got joining us tonight. That's what we like. Wonderful. And if you can share, 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 share. Now then, we were in Nation Radio uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, Big Huey phoned me. So can I strongly, strongly suggest that you go to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. You'll get it. Just pop it into your search engine and look out a call to Big Huey. Ooh, well worth the look, I can say. Uh, Mary Lindsay and Alan McGee, lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So there's a bit of news. So check out Big Huey's call. See if you can get a listen to that. And uh, when are you back on three nights? Two weeks, Alan. So um, not next Friday night, but the next one, the one after that, 
McClue is back in business big style. All right, so no problem there. There's nothing going on. There's nothing funny. There's nothing unusual. Nobody said ichi or ohi or anything like that. So we're just having a wee break, and uh, we had a bit of technical stuff to sort out as well. Sorted. Excellent. I mean, a fabulous Fabulous radio station, Nation Radio. Get yourselves on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The music is outstanding, and you will never, ever go wrong with that. I can assure you, superb presenters too. Derek McIntyre in the morning, Susie McGuire. So there we are. John Mulgrew, Brian Wolfie, Wolfson. They are, they're all there. It's tremendous. It really is wonderful. Hi, Scotty. Rabfi Bigger, London's big, but bigger's bigger. Rab, lovely to have you with us. Hope you ain't leaving nation. No, not at all, Alan. All is well. Uh, so there you are. <laughs> so he says, I love you so much, you set. So there we go. Uh, so there we are. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you for that, sorry. Very much appreciated. So there we go. Now then, uh, lots to talk about tonight. The Brexit thing, what's in your mind about the latest in that? Because apparently we're going to get a new PM. I wondered when I saw the pair of them if we should just have kept Mrs. May on. You know, to be quite honest with you. Very good. Uh, Stephen Dodd says, very scary. Uh, so, uh, so there you are. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Right. And uh, what else is happening? Who else do we have? Uh, you know, do come and tell us if you're watching the pop-up right now. Just a quick Sunday night pop-up, just to say, you know, I know we're not on the radio, but we can always pop up on Facebook Live just for you, Dink you do. Uh, Alan Hall has joined us. Hello, Alan. Lovely to have you with us. What do you think will happen on October the 31st? Halloween we'll have, so there'll be a rat-a-tat-tat at the door, and people will be saying the boys stood on the burning deck dressed as witches and wizards. But do you think anything will happen Brexit-wise? Did you ever broadcast the news with Sandy Gall? I didn't broadcast with Sandy Gall, but I met Alistair Burnett and Trevor MacDonald and all these wonders. Sir David Nicholson, who was one of the early journalists with ITN and, um, uh, you know, ran it for a long time, wonderful guy. And, of course, I set up ITN's bureau in Scotland when we were setting up um, Central FM Radio. Fantastic stuff. And uh, ITN were providing radio news at the time. Superb, absolutely wonderful. And um, I've noticed that um, uh, one of my um, colleagues, Richard Frediani, uh, a big, big editor with uh, ITV News, and um, he's apparently, so, uh, so I'm told, moving over to... So there we are, moving over to BBC Breakfast, and that's wonderful. Uh, what are you up to, Scotty? I'm six foot two. There we are. Well, I'm not very far behind you there, I'll tell you. What years did you read the news? I read the news from 1984 to 1989. So there you are. Excellent stuff on three television stations, three ITV stations, Grampian, which is no longer there, and Border, which is no longer there, uh, although there's a small presence, I think you can still get ITV Border, and um, Grampian went in with Scottish Television, so there we are, fantastic, and then of course I worked on Scottish Television for a long time. Um, Jim Clark's watching, Dinky Doo, and then I started up uh, Central FM in Central Scotland, which is still going on air, very successful, uh, 29 years later. How amazing is that? 29 years since we set it up. Hello, pal. How are you doing? Hope you've had a good day. It's Thomas Hamilton. I have, Tom. And I hope you've had a good day. Marvellous to have you with us. Uh, where did you broadcast the Lockerbie bombing? Um, I was actually off that time. I was due to go on BBC Radio Scotland for a Christmas party the night of the Lockerbie bombing. And uh, a very famous journalist came round to the house to pick me up. And we were sitting on the couch having a wee chat. I had a, um, a relative in. And we're sitting on the couch having a chat. And uh, up came the headline on the television about Lockerbie. And he turned to me and he said, that is a bomb. That sounds like 
a bomb. And uh, so it was, and round we went to the BBC because we had to report. But of course, any party or anything like that was cancelled immediately because all the media um, had to go over, um, you know, quite rightly to uh, report Lockerbie. And that was that. And then I phoned Border Television to see um, if they required me in the next day. But obviously, everybody was going for facilities. Uh, so that was the thing. Good evening, Scotty, says Raymond Benson. So when you have a major, major disaster like that, the world's media descends on the nearest television station, which happened to be Border Television. Uh, good evening, Scotty, says Kevin Roberts. So Border TV no longer exists. ITV Border uh, does. You'll see ITV Border, but the actual old television station that was set up there in the early 1960s. It's no longer in Carlisle. So there we go. It's a shambles. Um, so there we are. Oh, we don't want, oh, they don't want bottles on. Well, we'll not get into that too much. Um, Scott Derek McKenzie is watching Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us, Scott Derek McKenzie. And um, a very warm welcome to you. Of course, fantastic. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue with a Sunday night pop-up just for you. Stuart McCaffrey is with us. Now, I'm wondering if we should turn the lights around again. How does this look, guys? Is it actually okay? Or is it a bit strange? Do tell. Spill the beans, I say. And let us know what is what. There we go. Just uh, doing a little bit of uh, tidying up there. <laughs> Straightening the bonnet. Excellent. Uh, hi, Stuart. All the best to you. And thank you. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. And um, it's Sunday night. It's just a quick pop-up on Facebook Live just for you. How's the dog doing? Says Thomas. The dog is doing very well. Thomas, the dog is nearly 13. He's 13 in October. What about halfway house? No? So halfway house anyway, is that better? There, are. good evening, Scotty says Shoana. Shoana? Shona or Shoana? Shoana Singh. And uh, Steve Dodds, better darken, my friend. Oh yes, yes, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Me just sitting in the dark here, Stevie. Uh, hi Scotty, you back in the radio tonight? No, two weeks, Tony. So not next week, but the week after. Is that the darker bit? How does that look? What happens now? That's not so good. I don't think we'll do that. Is that any good, guys? What does that look like? So there you are. Do tell us. Uh, does that look okay for a bit of lighting? We're not broadcasting from the studio tonight, of course. Uh, Stephen McFarlane's watching. Hello, Stephen. Dinky do. Very warm welcome to you. Lovely to have you with us. Thanks to every single one of you guys for all the fabulous reactions that you've been doing. That is tremendous. Excellent stuff. And uh, also for all your shares, get the sharing round. That's better, says Alistair King. Really, Alistair, is it? Well, wait a minute. See if we can make it even better. Is that any good? So there we are. Tell us what you think about that. And uh, Bob's watching. Dinky you do, Bob? Bob McIntosh. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. Now they are. Good evening, says Stephen. Good evening, Stephen McFarlane. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Do, and welcome to Scotty McClue's pop up just for you. Very, very good. So wonderful to have you all with us. And uh, I'm just saying, if you get a chance, there's Michael Collar. If you get a chance to go on Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and listen to Big Huey from, uh, was it last week? No, the week before. It's two weeks old. Your bonnet's glowing. It does. It's my halo. So there you are. My halo glows. The tweed is glowing. <laughs> How's about that? <laughs> is that too much? Is that just a wee bit scary? So there you are. Tell us what you think of that, guys, of course. Wonderful. And uh, we will see what's what. <laughs> Wonderful. Lol, says Alistair. Is, is that too scary, Alistair? Well, I moved back a wee bit. I don't want to be frightening every day. <laughs> don't need to get a shock. You look very suntanned. You must have been in your holidays. Oh, absolutely, Tony. And I'll tell you, I visited Zippo's Circus yesterday. Tremendous Zippo's Circus. And the ringmaster is the wonderful uh, Norman Barrett, O-B-A-M-B-E, 
Norman Barrett, MBE. And uh, I first interviewed Norman on the radio 27 years ago. Fantastic. He just looks amazing. So there you are. He just looks the same as he always did. And, uh, you know, Norman has, uh, you know, been round with all the, the, the big circuses. He was in Blackpool and he is, uh, what did you tell Was it 21 years? I think he said with Zippo's Circus. So if you get the chance to go and see Zippo's Circus, I strongly, strongly recommend you do so. So there you are. I fear for the country if Boris takes over and we get no deal. I don't think we'll get no deal, but what I was suggesting, if there's, I mean, we shouldn't be coming out at all uh, because I, I, I found out tonight that the 1.2 million majority out of 70 million people who will be affected. 1.2 million majority is not 0.7%. Not 0.7%. So, there. so should not 0.7% dictate to 99.3%. You see? Think about that. So uh, we shouldn't really be leaving the EU at all because there's no reason to do so. Uh, agreed, Peter. We're throwing our country under a bus, says Kevin Roberts. We are. I mean, it's a nonsense to be doing it at all just to suit a few xenophobes and a handful of Hurry Henrys who are uh, just in it, hoping to make a quick buck out of the whole thing. So I would say we should remain, we should negotiate remain, and we should get a remainer in charge and say, listen, we're just going to null and void the um, opinion poll that happened three years ago, we'll null and void that, and we'll either have another one or we'll just stay in just now. Because there's no reason to leave, and of course, it would be betraying our country to leave the EU, because we actually are the EU. You know, between Germany and Britain, we're 30% of the whole thing. Do you think there should be a general election? I think, Tony Mack, there might well be a general election, to be quite honest with us. That would be the sensible thing to do, because it's all gone a bit daft. Wonderful Jonathan Welch is watching. Dinky do, Jonathan. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. And uh, I'm apolitical, of course, but it'd be quite interesting to get in to do a bit of political broadcasting. Uh, so that you are. you'd be better off getting deal or no deal, and he mentions the presenter. Excellent, Stephen. Very, very good. Deal or no deal. Uh, how did you work out those figures? Uh, pointy hat and a stand in the corner. No, Charles, these figures are fact. Think about it, right? There were 17.4 million people voted to leave. 16.2 million voted to remain. That's a majority of 1.2 million. Diane Curran says, Hi, Scotty, how are you doing? It's from the one and only Diane Warrington. Do you remember me? Late night chats on your show. We had some great laughs. Lovely to hear your voice again. And now I can, says Diane. Uh, <laughs> and now I can, what does she say? See more here. And now I can put a face to the voice. And a lovely one at that. Dinky do, Cocker. Mwah, mwah. And she gives us two kisses. Bless you, Diane. And dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us. So there you are. I remember our late night chats. They were superb. Ah, oh, come on, Scotty. Now then, um, what was I going to say? So 1.2 million of a so-called majority. Now, if you take that 1.2 million and uh, you put it into the um, percentage, you get not 0.7%. So there you are. So the majority is not 0.7%, meaning that 99.3% of the country are being dictated to by not 0.7%. That's not democracy. I can tell you that for nothing. So there you go. Excellent. Dinky do, Diane. All right, Scotty. Kevin Roberts. Scotty, you should get into politics. You're one of the few that talk sense nowadays. We try to, Kevin, but it's funny all the idiots that go on. Well, I'm trying to get into politics, but it's all the idiots that come on uh, wanting to be a keyboard warrior. Uh, you can't count people who never voted. Charles McLaughlin, you're not listening to me. Forget all this vote thing, right? That's passe. 
Brexit is undeliverable. All right? So get a load of that, channels. You've got to count every day. Almost 70 million people in this country are affected. And there's no point in saying babies in the womb and all that. They are the future. So they're directly affected. Time passes quickly. Tempest fugit. The years flee in, as we'd say in Scotland. All right. Remain as the way forward. It's taken too long to try and leave. Why? Because it's now becoming clear to the people it was a mistake to vote for it. Peter Connolly, you're talking so much sense. It was a total and utter mistake. Started off as a party political stunt that went horribly wrong. And the man behind it got off his mark pretty fast. And the one that had um, supposedly, allegedly been responsible for figures on the side of a bus disappeared for a, for days when that came out. So it caused an absolute panic. It backfired spectacularly. But a sensible crowd would have been able to say, look, from a legal point of view, this is an opinion poll. And we don't need to act upon it. So thank you everybody for putting your mark on there, your little X. Thank you for that. And we'll take that into account for the future. So there you are. See this Brexit, is that where a fat bud sits in a chair? Um, important noting the majority of Scotland and Northern Ireland said no to Brexit. I wonder if the 1.2 million were Scotland and Northern Ireland. No, the 1.2 million were the majority, Tony, out of the whole voting thing. But forget all that. We're getting distracted by the voting thing and we're in danger of taking our eyes off the ball because of the roar of the crowd. Okay? Don't do that. That is bad for us. I'm just changing the lighting again. How's that, guys? Do you like that? Is that dinky do or is it indistinct? Wait a minute, that's not so good, is it? Oh, how's that? Do you like that? So there we are. Importing, noting the majority of Scotland. Yes, absolutely. So that's your whole Brexit thing for you in a nutshell, guys. If you've been worrying and you've been wondering, so why can't you take either live calls or live video calls? I wouldn't mind a debate with a friend. Stephen McFarlane, of course you can have a debate. You can have a debate with me any time. Listen to Big Huey from two weeks ago. There's Big Paul watching. Dinky do, Paul. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. Don't feel you have to disappear because you're one of the country's top broadcasters and an excellent, excellent radio manager. So... Good to have you with us, and dinky do, I say. So there we are, that's our poll. Now, um, Scotty McClure popped up just for you to say dinky do. A lot of you in America and Canada and Australia and New Zealand like think, what on earth is this? It's Scotty McClure's Sunday night pop-up just for you saying dinky do. We were discussing the whole Brexit thing there, but I don't want to lose you on it. Uh, so excellent stuff. We probably could take Skype calls, I think, Stephen, to be quite honest with you. We can maybe get that going and see what is what. Um, but I need to sort that out. Sorted, lightning-wise. Do you mean lighting-wise? Is that better? Do you like the lights like that? Preferred the darker lighting, says VJ. Do you not think it's a wee bit scary, VJ, the darker one? I could try it again. See what you think. Well, <laughs> it's just a question of turning it round to them. <laughs> we look as if now we've got a bit of uh, a bit of smoke. <laughs> Something different. But wonderful. So there we are. How's that doing? Uh, so where is our debate, says Stephen? You can have it right now. Have you got the big box? Uh, and you can give us the future, yes. Uh, well, you can give us a tune in the box. I thought you said uh, you were thinking of crystal balls. Uh, keep the light for Halloween. Wonderful. Halloween's the one night of the year I don't have to dress up. It's tremendous. <laughs> what have you come as? I say, I do have the box, actually. Are you wanting a tune? So there you are. What's the time? I should maybe time I wasn't here. So there you are, because the time flies. Whether you're enjoying yourself, I say, let me see. Oh. Uh, we've got about 
Another five minutes or something like that. Good evening, Scotty. So Stephen Burroughs. Tempest Fugit, Scotty. So there we are. Tempest Fugit, Memento Mori. Alex Jenkins, I couldn't have put it better mm -hmm. myself. So there we are. <laughs> Became a scoring issue between politicians and parties. None of them give a damn about the welfare of the country. This is the difference, Peter Connolly. Scotty McClure cares passionately about not just the welfare of the country, but the welfare of the people. And we've got these dafters going, I'm British, I'm not European. We've been European for 50 years. And when they slag off the EU, they don't seem to realise that it's our EU. We are the EU. So they're slagging off themselves. Flower of Scotland, says Alistair. <laughs> Scotty, thanks very much. No problem at all. Well done, mate. Not an easy one to play in the box. No, Alistair King, especially if you're not a brilliant player on the button key melodion. This is a new one, you see. The button key melodion. Big difference from the big piano key accordion. Um, here we are. Why pay council tax is 25 quid uh, for an up left, says Rab Hill. Four and a block, Rab. 25 quid a month for an up left. That's not too bad. What are you talking there? Are you talking um, a one-bed sitting room, kitchenette, and uh, and lavvy? So there we are. Do tell. Stephen Dodds is giving us the clap. Thanks very much, Stephen. We like the clap. Uh, my favourite music. Well played, sir, says Charles McLachlan. I agree 100% with Rab Hill, says VJ. So there you are. The four in a block. You feel your council tax is a wee bit on the high side. I know exactly what you're talking about there, boys. But the four in the block, a marvellous house. It's interesting that a lot of our uh, Glasgow council housing, the likes of Moss Park, for instance, will soon be coming up for 100 years old. Tell him, you know. He'll walk away, you go. It was the, it was the 1920s. Was, excuse me, what's the date? It's 2019. Well, right, right. It was after the First World War anyway. I don't know. I remember that. They give you all that nonsense. There are Jen Wilson Hilton's watching. Dinky do, Jen. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome from me, Scotty McClure. I'm a bit in the dark here. It's like you'd think I was in mastermind. So they are two minutes on the Clyde steamers. Oh, by the way, great news about uh, P.S. Waverley. Apparently they've ordered the boilers. Now, that was mentioned on Scotty McClure's Nation radio show. So there we are, Scotty McClure's Nightline. Wonderful stuff for bulky uplifts. Wonderful. Excellent stuff. Now, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live with a Sunday night pop-up on Facebook just for you to say dinky do. Can I um, just do a quick chat with you? Um, if you've had a smile from Scotty McClue over the years and you can spare a fiver or something like that, go on to Scotty McClue's website and you'll see a PayPal and uh, pop a pound or two pounds or three pounds or four pounds or five pounds into that. That'd be wonderful. Andrew Stone says, Hi, Scotty, just returned from sunny Spain. Have the pleasure of your wonderful tone, loud and clear. 
Happy days at Donkey Do. Andrew Stone has got his Donkey Do there. So there we are. Ian Kerr's watching Dinky Do, the predictive text strikes again. Um, so, excellent stuff from that point of view. Uh, as I say, if you go on to www.scotty-mcclue.com and you'll see a wee link to PayPal. And if you want to drop a fiver in there, but that'd be fascinating. Fascinating. There's also a GoFundMe. So a big thank you for anything like that. It gets us more advertising and little bits of equipment for my pop-ups. Wonderful. Uh, I'm saving up for a new camera and stuff like that. Matelia likes your music. He put his ears up, so a shout out for Minnie, please, Scotty. Hello, Minnie the Terrier. Roo, roo. And um, talking about the old housing, Jake, the tower blocks, replacing the tenements was a bad thing. I grew up in the tower block. Tony Mack, the tower blocks were quite amazing. The only trouble is, you know, sometimes the lift would pack in. And if your granny and your auntie Fanny had a couple of bags of heavy shopping, you know, and maybe a bad chist, trying to go up the back stairs with that was a bit too much. But the views from the top are outstanding. Mastermind, you say, I cleaned Magnus Magnuson's windows inside and out. He was a gentleman. True story. Charles McLachlan, I believe you. He was a gentleman because I knew him. I spoke to him. So there you go. Scotty, you should try that Love Island next year, says Rab Hill. I was wondering about it this year, Rab. We did do a wee bit of chat about it in one of the pop-ups. There you are, Love Island. Should Scotty McClure be in Love Island? Brilliant. He was looking round the room for you, Scotty. Kevin Roberts. Woo! Minnie. Uh, Scotty, yes, absolutely. It's a thought. It's a thought. And we like to have a thought now and again. Let's be honest. Let's not kid ourselves. So there we go. Now, how did I manage that flower of Scotland? Because that's half the top of the head. I've never played that before. Hi, Scotty. Give Lorraine Prentice a shout out, says John R. Jackson. Wonderful stuff. Can I say hello to Jaden? He's 10 years old and your next generation of listeners. Ian Stewart, of course you can. Hello, Jaden. Dinky do. So there we are. What I'm saying, the politicians in this country never gave a damn about the public, just scoring points about themselves. Now, here we are, no direction, nobody steering the country, and possibly another extension to Brexit time for a new vote, or just abandon it. Uh, David Cameron took a silly chance and it backfired. Yes, it did. It backfired. That's why David got off his mark. Let's have it straight. But... Having said that, we're left with it now. Now, I do not think we should be leaving. So I think what we should do is uh, say to the public, look, we don't have to act on this. We're thinking of nulling and voiding it. We've got some very sharp lawyers who are very quick. We'll rescind Article 50. We'll give the EU a wee ring. They've got a new president. And we'll say, listen, we've had 50 years of peace and prosperity. We're staying with you. I know we've all had a tough time, but austerity is domestic politics. Um, you know, we're staying with you, and uh, it is fantastic because we are the EU. Because between Germany and the UK, we control um, 30% of the EU. So it's our EU. We are part of the EU. So there you are. So why would you just come out of that for no reason? It's like giving up a very good job. And somebody saying, have you got something else to go to? They go, no, 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 I haven't. Uh, so I thought I'll, I'll phone some people. You say, well, why are you giving up your job? Uh, no reason, really. I just, um, no, no, there's, there's no reason at all to give up your job. No, that sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of madness. I think they need Scotty McClure in there to sort them all out. That's what I would say. And they do that. They need to get me on that question time program. And I will tell them what is what. But uh, but we should definitely be staying. And remember, 0.7 is the majority, 0.7% out of the whole country. And uh, I don't want anybody saying, oh, you can't include people that didn't vote. That's nothing to do with it. It was purely indicative, right? That was what we wanted. It was really just to see what was what, and they should never have acted on it. It's all scare tactics. Absolutely, yes, of course. Remain is the thing, <clears throat> because old Churchill, whatever you think of him, um, he wanted, his greatest wish was to have a united, peaceful Europe with the UK at its heart, 
and uh, a European army under a single commander. Although at that time, 1946, I think he still fancied himself being the single commander. Wonderful. But there we are. But it was Churchill's uh, doing. He's the architect of Europe, and uh, we need to give him credit for that. So there we are. So we don't want to uh, betray our country. So my suggestion is we should seriously think about uh, negotiating Remain, and that would save all the problems of any Brexit for no reason. Anyway, that's the stuff. I'm just saying that. Uh, I still want to see you. Uh, so somebody here. Not many have fans that go beyond humans, Scotty. So there you are. Now, you need your humans. Although I have a lot of dogs enjoy watching Scotty McClure because the dog owners tell me. They say, oh, I love your program, by the way. Oh, she's great. She wags her tail when you're on. All that kind of thing. No, that's giving me a wee bit mist at the corner, isn't it? We'll see what happens when we do that. Is there anything interesting there? Let's try a wee bit of different lighting uh, and see what we can get here. Uh, now, what happens if I do this? Right. Oh, is that good? The blue light. Do you like that one? Right. Let me know. Give us a thumbs up if you think that's better. All right, if you think that's better, give us lots of thumbs up. There's the wonderful Mike Henfield. What a top man he is. Mike Henfield, the man that originally hired Scotty McClue for Red Rose Radio 27 years ago. Tremendous. I've known Mike Henfield for 27 years, and he's one of the country's leading journalists and an absolute top man and a very, very nice guy. Extremely clever and extremely interesting. So dinky do to you, Mike Henfield, I say. Um, so there we are. How's that, guys? Give us a thumbs up for that lighting. I want to try that, see if it's any good. Um, excellent. Don't do blue. Okay, we don't do blue. What about that? Is there anything going on there? What about that? Did we do that one? Wait a minute. Ah. Aha. How about that? There we are. Let us know how that is, folks, okay? So we're just getting the lighting. Where would the film of Scottish Love Island? Millport, says Tony Mac. Well, I'm sure Millport would love that. What do you think about Trump, says Rab. So there you are. He's not a big fan of Trump. Well, I'll tell you, if we uh, do leave, we'll probably all end up as Americans. So get used to it. I'm getting, well, I'm getting the thumbs up for that, guys. Give us the thumbs up if you like that lighting. Very important. Come on, folks. Lots and lots of tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Perfect, Scotty. There we are. Wonderful. Is that honestly all right? Do you quite like that? So there we are. Wonderful. Um, it's all scare tactics. They're only interested in money and the people close to Westminster with the control. Uh, so there you are. I, I still want to see you debate Brexit with Julia Hartley Brewer. Says Kevin Roberts, uh, that's uh, a lady journalist who's on talk radio. Yes, Julia, very, very good. That would be no problem at all. That would be a walk in the park to me. Uh, would we not be kicked out of the United Nations if we leave, Scotty? No, Alistair, everything can be negotiated so Scotland can come back in to the United Nations. That's a separate setup, United Nations and NATO. But, uh, you know, a European army, European armed forces, no problem at all. That's kind of what we've got at the moment. We've got the old Eurofighter and things like that. I saw one of them yesterday. Stephen McDonald, dinky-doo, Stuart Main, dinky-doo, a wee bit blurry, says Alistair. Is that blurry, Alistair? Wait to see what else I can do for you. Right, that'll be a wee bit dark. Is that a wee bit less bloody? How's about that? Oh, what about that? Oh, 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 oh. There we are. My tan. My tan is showing. <laughs> what about that? Do you like that? Is that any good for lights, guys? We'll become the 52nd state. Absolutely. Um, Gavin Hull, Sibley, Dinky, Do. Scotty, stop fiddling with the lights. Says Charles McLaughlin. Leave it alone. So there we are. I'll tell you what I might do. So there we go. Hi, Scott. Perfect, Scotty. Just put the light on. Scotty, missing the show, says Gavin Hull simply. I know. I'll be back in two weeks, Gav. Right. James Michael Harvey. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. What a top man. James Michael Harvey. A man who... James, are you an engineer? 
or a top technician because I've always thought you love the experimentation side of broadcasting. Trouble is, Scotty, when the vote happened, so many people hadn't a clue what it was all about. Now educated, they'd vote differently. They thought it would stop immigrants coming into the country. No, 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 no. Every successful country is successful because of its immigrants, and every single one of us was an immigrant at some point. I mean, you know, I'm an old Scottish family, but uh, we came in with the Vikings in 1100-odd. So there you go. Fantastic stuff. So everybody is actually an immigrant. And, of course, America, the most successful country in the world, all about immigrants. And we don't get nearly enough immigrants in this country. We need to... Uh, Scotland was emptied out, depopulated by social injustice. And now we need to repopulate it through social justice. Excellent stuff. That's it. And uh, I think Boris is doing a good job uh, for the SNP's... <laughs> yeah, he's, he's helping them by uh, every daft thing that comes out with because the SNP who have been governing Scotland for 11 years. Everything's fairly sensible. It's 9.10, Scotty. I need to go. Scotty, what's your favourite TV show, past or present? I was buying some things in the co this week, and I thought to myself, uh, she said, would you like a bag? I said, no, I'm going to save the planet. And I said, you can look out the window and see if it's like Cracker Jack. And she laughed because she understood. Do you remember Cracker Jack? It's Friday, it's five past five, and it's Cracker Jack, Leslie Crowther, and Peter Glaze. And that was a great show. Uh, and we used to all run home from the school to see uh, Cracker Jack. Uh, was it five past five? It's Friday, it's five past five, and it's Friday, it's five to five. James Michael Harvey. Hi, Scotty Dinky. Do. I'm a retired electronics technician that won't retire. James Michael Harvey, you must never retire from that because one of the great things, one of the many things I love about you over the years, you've always stuck with Scotty McClue. And when I was trying all these different things out on the internet, and, um, you know, when we were trying to build up the internet programs at first, you were always there with a wee bit of encouragement and a wee suggestion. And that's fantastic. See, you know what Scotty McClue's been through over the years to bring the program to the people. So they are fantastic. And you've been extremely supportive, James Michael Harvey. I thank you, sir. So never be a retired electronics technician. Go with the electronics. Oh, I could crush a grape, says Stephen Dodds. I'm sure you could. I could crush a grape between my thighs. A lot of Scottish people were immigrants from Ireland, a great race of people. Absolutely, Tony Mac, everyone is an immigrant without fail. Yes, I agree, immigrants do a sterling job for our country, but the public need educated in this fact. They do. Peter Connolly, the public need educated full stop. That's why McClue devotes his life to the education of the public. Uh, do you think people retire when they get old, or do, do they get old when they retire? They get old when they retire. I saw a gentleman I mentioned earlier, and um, he's uh, working in show business all the time, and I'm reliably informed he's 84, and he looks superb. He could be 60. So there you are. Glad to help. Thanks, is James Michael Harvey. No, James Michael Harvey, thank you, sir. I salute you. So there we are. And, and I think, yes, retirement is something I've absolutely no interest in. I mean, obviously, a lot of people wish I would, but um, fat chance. So there you go. No interest in retirement at all. Uh, a big friend of mine retired 10 years ago, and he just turned 60, and he died. So there you go. So I shall certainly not be retiring. If I fade away, fair enough. 40 years ago, I was in the co-op with my granny at receiving. I had to wait in a long queue. She said, no wonder nobody comes in here. It's always mobbed. Jim Thompson, you're absolutely right. A good Scottish granny. Now, guys, I'm going to do you a massive favour and push off. All right, it's been fabulous. I've loved popping up with you all and having a right good chat. I hope you've enjoyed it even a tiny bit as much as I have. Uh, we're back on the radio in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, Rab, I'm not on the radio for two weeks, and then we'll be back Friday, Saturday, Sunday, regular Scott Work on Nation Radio, GWWP, God willing, weather permitting. Guys, have a beautiful, beautiful week. Been lovely being with you. From me, Scotty McClure, and everybody here at Scotty McClure, 
i.e. me, then may I wish you good night, God bless, dinky-doo, and ta -las. Enjoy your break, Scotty. Thanks, Alistair. Don't you ever retire, Scotty. I know who you're referring to. Poor John. Uh, you just keep going, Scotty, like a Duracell battery. Thanks for the advert, Stephen Dodds. I'll send you the bill. Here we go now. Excellent stuff. Enjoy your holiday. Thanks, Charles. Thanks, guys. You're so mad, Scotty. Take care. You take care of yourselves, you beautiful people. Mwah. I'll sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vidar zin, au revoir, and a cheerio. Ta la la, bless you. Mwah. Thanks, James Michael Harvey. Dinky doo, and bye.